Alright, so I got a comment the other day uh, from a guy wanting to know if I could have uh, a bezel that's like an arcade cabinet, generic, you know, for whatever, just, a, you know, your standard generic kind of black plastic, you know, bezel, not one that spe has any specific artwork. Um, and I guess, you know, like a lot of us, we're going to have a lot of games that we don't have artwork for yet. And so instead of just having no artwork or no bezel, you know, why not have a generic one, right? So I figured, okay, yeah, I should probably, you know, do that. And you've got the one like I just showed you there. And then you've got ones sometimes that have kind of this bluish gray texture, you know what I mean, on actual arcade cabinets. So I got to work on that. <clears throat> Anyways, so go to my Google Drive and you'll see uh, in the bezel collection, you open it up and you've got these two new things here. Uh, generic bezels for horizontal games and generic bezels for vertical games. Um, you can also find them in the complete main package here within the artwork. So basically you just right click, hit download, and it's going to zip it up for you. And then it'll ask you where you want to save it to and you just save it wherever. I'm going to save it to my desktop here. And you go ahead and do that again for your vertical one. Right click, download. It's going to zip it. And then it's going to ask you where to save it to. There we go, desktop. All right. <clears throat> so you've got these two zip folders on your desktop now. Go ahead and extract them. Okay. This first one. Extract the second one. I don't know why malware bytes ended up coming out, but there we go. Okay. So you don't need the zipped folders anymore. You can go ahead and delete those. Okay. And. For this demonstration, I'm going to download a game I don't currently have. So that, like, you know, to give you a proper example. Let's go with Donkey Kong. Oops, Donkey. Oops, can't type right today. Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, got Donkey Kong downloaded there. So let's go to my main folder. And I'm going to drop Donkey Kong into my ROMs. Alright. Go ahead and open up MAME. Okay, and I'm going to go to All Games. Donkey Kong. Oop, I keep doing that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Which one is it? Donkey Kong. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. So I'm going to put this in my custom folder. Okay. Clear out the search. There's Donkey Kong. Let's go ahead and run it. Make sure it works. Alright. It works. But as you can see, I don't have any bezel art for it at all. So let's say we want a generic bezel. And you've downloaded my generic bezels. Alright. Let's minimize MAME for a minute. And in my artwork folder, I don't have any artwork for Donkey Kong. So what I'm going to do is this generic vertical bezel that I got from my Google Drive. I'm going to put the contents of it into a f new folder that I'm going to name after the Donkey Kong ROM. And the Donkey Kong ROM, the name of it is C directory D Kong, all lowercase. So let's name our new folder D Kong. There we go. Inside of that, we're going to put our contents from our vertical generic. Copy. Paste. There we go. All right, and then drop that into our artwork folder. Sorry about my noisy kid in the background. It's Sunday. The kids are here today. All right, so now let's launch Donkey Kong. Get that volume down a little bit. Okay, so now we have artwork now, generic artwork. The first one, and there's the second one. Now, the screen size is smaller in this one, but it's still the correct aspect ratio. I measured it mathematically, and it's still divisible by 3 and 4 evenly both ways. So your game screen is still the correct true aspect ratio. It's not getting smushed or stretched or cut off in any way. All right, and same thing for uh, horizontal games. Um... 
I went ahead and did it already for Samurai Showdown, but again, the process is just, you know, you know, you have a folder named after the ROM, and you just put the stuff in there, basically. You know, you got this from my Google Drive, copy that into a folder that has the same name of the ROM, and then you should be good to go. So now if I launch Samurai Showdown, I will have my new generic art. Get that volume down just a little bit there. Okay. <clears throat> There's three horizontal ones to choose from. Luke, sh 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 sh. Sorry, he's just gonna be noisy. Um, you got this kind of like laid back one right here. You got this one that's kind of the more realistic look, which if you want, you could crop it or not. I don't know, whatever. And then you've got this one that's like the hybrid. It's my favorite one. It's kind of got a better all around look to it. And there's your generic art. Now, what if you wanted to slap your own artwork onto one of these generic ones? So you wanted to have like a generic, but you wanted to put artwork on the sides of the generic so you can incorporate pieces of it. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, let's go back to Donkey Kong again for a better example. I'm gonna pause it here. See all this blank area on the left and right? Let's say you like the way all this looks. You like that plastic on the in the inside. You like that plastic, you know, rubbery bezel in between, and you like that kind of bluish gray texture. But you just in your mind you imagine, what if I put a big sticker of artwork on that bluish gray texture on the left and right that represents game art, you know? But you still show some of this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm just gonna cut to a quick video of how you would create something like that and so to show you that you can have something like that as an option as well. That should be about it. Um, there might be a couple people in the comment section that are going to wonder how to add this art into one that a folder that already has artwork. So basically, for that, you just go into a game that you already have artwork for. Let's say, you know, I don't know, uh, Miss Pac-Man here. It's already got some art. It's already got a lay. But what you do is you take my generic bezels lay file that comes with my generic bezel and you also open up the lay for your current game that already has artwork 
and you have to add in elements basically. So let's see, this is the element section. It says elements, so copy. All right, and then your element section for your Miss Pac-Man or whatever game over here. You just add in the elements for your generic stuff. Okay, and then the views down here. You see uh, view generic one, view generic two. Copy those. Go to the bottom of your views section in your currently existing one and paste those in. Paste. Alright, and then you don't forget to save, close, and then the last thing you need to do is copy over the actual generic PNGs into your game's artwork folder. Alright, now when I launch Miss Pac-Man, I will have added in some generic bezels. So let's go to Miss Pac-Man. Alright, <clears throat> and let's take a look. So we've got our standard ones, and now we have our new generic ones added in as well. See? Piece of cake.